guys, it's your girl Jasmine Lorray, and we are back with another video. So in today's video, we are going to be creating a look using the Morphe 35V palette. It's been a minute since I've picked up this palette, and I was like, why not create a look using this palette today? So in today's video, I am going to be creating a classic smoky eye. So if this look interests you, then keep on watching. that I'm going to be using is my Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Caffeine. This is going to be my first time using this, believe it or not. I've had this for a while now and I've never used it. So I really love bases that are colored and opaque because I feel like the look comes out so much better when I have an opaque base. And since I'm gonna be using dark shadows um, for this look, I really don't really care about using a shadow base that's like super bright. So like your concealer will work, like your skin tone concealer. You can start with foundation if you wanna keep it super simple. So I pack this on heavily, I let it sit for a few seconds, and then I use a dense brush to kind of blend it out. So the brush that I'm gonna be using to blend out my base is the Morphe's M516 brush, and it has like a little angle to it, which is perfect for your eye. I absolutely love this brush. So I am just doing patting motions to blend and I'm blending it all the way up into my brow bone, the inner corner of my eye, simply because I, whenever I create a smoky look, I like to do like this blurred out effect. So it needs to have base all over the eye area and even underneath. So whatever I have left over here, I'm gonna bring it underneath as well. So now that we have that blended, I'm gonna use my Instapop crease brush from Real Techniques and I absolutely love this brush because it's super dense and angled and I'm going to start with um, the little black book shadow from the palette using packing motions on my lid. Even though that this color is going to go all over my lid, I do want to use a smaller brush just so that I can have some sort of control. Especially when you're using a dark color like this, I feel like the smaller the brush is, the better that way you have better control of the shade. So I'm just going to apply this on my lid and pack the color on as much as I can. So I'm just going to take that shade right under my crease. And this part is not gonna be perfect because we're gonna go in with other colors to blend out that black. And what I love about this base too, it helps the shadows really stick to your lid. It literally grips the, the shadow. So next, using my Morphe's M562 brush, I'm gonna go in with Spice. And I'm going to use this shade to blur out the harsh edges of the black. So I like to use this brush because you can literally get right on top of there without that color going everywhere you don't want it to go. So I'm going to start with this first just to blur out the edges and then I'm going to increase the brush size. So I'm not really trying to keep spice that color. Like I said, I'm just trying to blur out the edges. Let me use my other mirror so I can see a little bit better too. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Spice is a nice color. Y'all, it's been so long since I picked up this palette that I forgot all about the nice shades that are in this palette. When you have so much makeup, it's like you just forget about 
all what you have until you go through everything. All right, so the shade that I'm going in with next is Vixen. So as you notice, um, my colors are getting lighter and lighter the higher I go up on my eye. And this is a Morphe brush. I got it um, around the holidays, so I don't don't have a number or anything like that. But it's a, a blending brush that's a little bit tapered towards the end of it, or the tip. So I'm gonna just take Vixen, like I said, and go over top of Spice with that. And already that is like coming together nicely. Later on, we're going to bring the color underneath, but I'm not going to do that until I finish my foundation, concealer, and things like that. So next, I'm going to go back in with my Real Techniques brush, back in Little Black Book, and pop that right back on there. Through all that blending, we kind of got rid of the... Um, the black, which is the star of this whole look. And then I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe brush, and this time I'm gonna take um, spice and go right over top of that. Cause now we don't really necessarily have to be precise this go around. And I just like how it gets, how it's dark and then it gets up lighter. I just, I love that. And then, you know, blending is very important as well whenever you are trying to rock a smoky look. So now with an even fluffier brush, I'm gonna use the Morphe's 505 brush, and I am gonna go in with the shade Scandal to finish it off. And it's a lighter shade, but it's kind of highlighting up here. I'm gonna go back in with this brush and I'm gonna pick up Vixen. And kind of merge Scandal in with Vixen. I feel like I need to do a little bit more with the black as far as transition goes. So I'm going with my Morphe's 429 brush. I'm gonna dip it a little bit, just a little bit to where there's barely any black on the tip into the little black book and then I'm gonna go in my crease there so this is kind of like a stippling brush a little bit and look at that to me that really helped out the look even though I was doing that blending and doing the transitions it still needed a little bit of more more blending and this stippling brush is really helping a lot so I'm going to stop here for the eye and <clears throat> I'm going to go straight into my face and I'm going to do that off camera because this video it mainly focuses on the eyes. Once I do my face application, I'll come right back to you. Alright y'all, so I am back. So I'm going to take my Laura Mercier powder and I'm going to use my sponge and kind of lightly set right up underneath there right under there like that just so that because the black kind of falls out a little bit so we don't want that black to go everywhere but before we get in back into the shadows we're going to line our waterline this is the 24 7 glide on pencil from urban decay in zero so i'm going to get underneath and go on the waterline as well as directly in between my lashes we want it to be smoky as possible this is a dark look and we don't need no empty spaces and already you can tell the difference between this eye and that one 
whenever you line your eyes. All right, so let's get back into the shadows. So, I'm gonna take my Morphe's M562 brush, dig into the little black book, right? Well, you know what? I'm lying. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay um, Smoky Smudger brush into the little black book and kind of stamp it underneath my eye. Doesn't have to be perfect. Right now, all we're doing is stamping. And it also helps that the eyeliner kind of grips the shadow too. Like that. Now I'm gonna go in with the M562 brush and kind of blur the edges. And come right in here and kind of blur that as well, right in the corner. Boom, yay! All right, so I'm gonna put some at the end like this, just to kind of merge the top shadow to the bottom. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go back in with, well actually I'm gonna use my Morphe's 505 brush and kind of roll into all of this, even down here. It had a little bit of that brown left over from the brush. Vixen and Spice, so I'm just going to use that and kind of blur out the edges a little bit more. Alright, so just to create more of a pizzazz, because I, I love highlight, I love pop of glitters or just illuminescent shadows for a look, I'm going to take um, Midnight Cowboy, this is the glitter liner from Urban Decay, and I'm going to place this in the inner corner of my eye. I am going to take French Kiss with my Morphe brush. This is like a little small detailing brush. I'm gonna take that with some setting spray and spray the brush like that and pop that right on top of the glitter. All right, so now it's time to add lashes. And I'm gonna go in with my lashes in Housewife Double Stacked. So what I did was I just took two pairs of my lashes and double stacked them together. If you're interested in purchasing a pair of my lashes, just go follow me on my social media, Instagram at Jasmine Laray. Message me to order and I got you, girl. I got you. So I'm gonna take my Duo Glue I'm apply some to the band of the lashes just to kind of help them stick together a little bit more. But then I'm also going to apply the glue to my line. I mean, come on, come on. And look at my hair, I didn't even fix my hair, y'all. Y'all have to excuse me, but let's focus on this look, okay? All right, y'all, <laughs> okay. So I went on an applied subversion by Urban Decay on my bottom lashes, and while that sets up a little bit, let's do the lips, honey, okay? Now, I don't normally use a lip liner. Don't laugh at it, okay? So uh, this is the Giorgio Omani Rouge in the number 400. Beautiful red. Let's put it on.
Mm-hmm. Okay, my red lipstick has seen better days, but I'm holding on to this baby because this is my favorite red. So I'm going to take a little bit of glow. I'm going to go in with the CoverGirls um, Sculpt Expert Palette in Rose Rush. And I'm going to take my highlight shade just a little bit on my finger and pop it there. That is it, okay? This is how I create my smoky eye or classic smoky eye with a red lip. Perfect for holidays, perfect for a night out or a day night, perfect for events. Whatever the case may be, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful look. Pair it with dramatic lashes and be on your way. Love the whole look of this look. If you do too, please give this video a thumbs up. All right, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. I'll see you guys in the next one.